Well, good evening, everyone. Linda Anderson here from Linda Lou Creates. Thanks for joining me on this Sunday evening. Hey, I uh, want to share with you the one and only card I got done this week. Um, I simply ran out of time. I have a second one in the works, so I might sneak another video in, um, in on another day this week. So be on the lookout for that. I'll let you know. So, um, but today's is all about a Valentine's Day card that is done with a stamp set that you would not expect. First of all, the one that you would expect is the Sweet Conversations Bundle. All right. So this fun stamp set, I, I've been using it a lot, and the dies. Purchase them together. You save some money that way. Now, what is the stamp set, you ask, <laughs> that is so non-conventional for Valentine's? Awesome otters. Yep, that's right. I am using one of the Celebration stamp sets, this adorable set with the a $50 purchase. This is one that you could, could purchase, or could get for free, rather. So, purchase $50, you know, like that Sweet Conversations bundle, Put that in and see what your total comes to uh, before shipping and handling. That might work then for you. Might have to add another thing or two, but you got it. Pick this otter stamp set because what I want to share with you is... Ah! Isn't this so cute? Um, yeah, I got to say, I, I had a, a load of fun making this guy. Uh, it's going to be a super quick card. Um, all I did was use just half inch strips of cardstock to create this uh, on the bottom. And the heart, yep, came from that sweet conversation set. And then the cute little otter. Oh, so what I did was I stamped the otter in the Memento Tuxedo Black on white cardstock. Um, I like using the thick white, uh, basic white for that. So I stamped them, I cut them out, I colored them with my blends. So here he is. Um, I've also applied already all of my dimensionals to the back. So there's that cute little guy. Here's the heart um, that is Pool Party cardstock Bermuda Bay ink. And I use then the die to cut that out. I'm using the uh, red rhinestones. I have been, sorry, I just bumped the, can, the uh, my phone, so I apologize for that. Um, and I've been using those a ton with uh, all of my Valentines this year, so. All right, my card base is the thick white, basic white. Uh, the top folding, that means it's 11 by four and a quarter. This score line is at five and a half. I've already stamped on the inside a happy Valentine's Day. I have now a piece of uh, basic white, and this one measures three and three quarters by five. Then I have a piece of basic black, an eighth of an inch bigger, meaning it is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. Now, before I adhere these two together, I am going to apply my strips. Um, like I said, I just kind of, whatever I had already cut off, I saved some of the, the scraps, so to speak. And so they're varying widths or lengths, whatever you want to call them. And um, I'm going to go ahead and put these on and then trim them off whenever I get to that point when I'm all done. So what I like to do is, normally you see me using um, the liquid glue. This time I'm going to use a tape runner, all right? So let me get, um, I did it one other time with the liquid glue and oh my goodness, there's all kinds of cat hair coming off. <laughs> anyway, it's gonna be hidden with the strips. Anyway, um, I had so much liquid glue all over the place. I have opted now to do it with the tape runner. So I could go beyond on both sides. I'm just going to go ahead, find the corner here of my white card stock layer here and just put that down. Okay. And now it's just going to come along and run a strip here. Whatever colors you have. I have real red. This is Blushing Bride. 
Next, I actually have a strip of white that is perfectly three and three quarters. It just so happened to be that way that I'm like, oh, good, then I will include that. So, <laughs> and then I have um, Smoky Slate. I just kind of liked those colors for Valentine's Day. So that's what it is. So let's get these all put together. And so isn't that just a fun, cool background? I could definitely go all the way up this, um, but I opted not to. I'm just going to stop with just these four. So let me just take this over to my paper trimmer, and I am going to get those trimmed off. So here we go. All right. So there it is. Nice and clean. Um, like I said, if I went beyond then uh, on both both sides, obviously I would trim with both on both ends. There it is. Now I'm going to adhere this to the black. So um, I know I just I'm not always good with cutting to <laughs> the length that things should be. So that's why I, I like to uh, put it first on the white before I put it on the layer that I'm going to put on. Put it on top of so so here we go and i do just like that hint of black popping out from underneath this is kind of my jam here so all right this will now go to my card base i will show you my friendly little awesome otter here again and i will let you know the colors of my Stampin' Blends that I used here in a moment. Um, I take too much time um, with uh, doing my coloring, so that's why I'm not going to do it <laughs> for you. And um, yeah, because we would be here for quite a while. I don't know, sometimes I am not a good colorer. I don't know if that's a word or not, but um, I don't think that I am. So it. I take too much time or I'm just like, oh, good enough. So that's why I went ahead and did him ahead of time. So this guy is, I used the two colors of the dark and the light of the soft suede. For his belly, I used the dark and the light of the gray granite. And his nose, I just colored in with the, uh, the uh, dark black uh, Stampin' Blend. So like I said, colored him up, cut him out. We're good to go. So I'm just going to have him, and I've kind of given him some ground to stand on, which is one of these strips. So if you are not one who uses a lot of dimensionals, then close your eyes for this part. Um, I know I get made fun of all the time for how many dimensionals I use, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> So, all right, you can open your eyes now. I am done taking the paper off of those all of those dimensionals. So, I do want to make sure that the feet, let me just set him down. I want to make sure that the feet, uh, both feet are on that gray strip there. So, all right, so there we go there. The heart, I am just going to ever so slightly put it on his hand. So, I just have a couple dimensionals here just just two, I know. Probably didn't need the second one, but I did it anyway. So, and there we go. So let me just put this on, like I said, ever so slightly overlapping his hand. And there we go. Sweet. Yeah, one thing left. And that's the red rhinestone embellishment. And I'm just popping that right there on the heart. And that is it. Is he not the cutest? So there are two other otters in this uh, stamp set. Give me one second here. Um, I played around with this set and made another card that I'm, I, 
in my head, it looked one way. The way it came out, it looked totally different. So I wasn't happy with the way it turned out. It's been scrapped. So I'm trying another way, and hopefully that is the way will work so I can do another video for you, like I said, later in the week and uh, show you what adorables uh, nest these guys are. Uh, keep in mind, celebration goes through the end of February, and so any $50 order will get you this stamp set if you're interested. Um, if you have any questions, let me know um, regarding celebration, the new mini catalog, uh, or just stamping up in general. I'd be happy to help you. Um, next Sunday is the Super Bowl, and I will not be doing a video. I am... A football fan even though my team is not in it I will still be watching it uh, eating the food and watching those commercials so <laughs> it'll be fun no Facebook live on Sunday like I said I will try though throughout the week to get one in so anyway hey guys thanks so much for joining me on this Sunday evening I hope you're staying warm if it's cold where you are uh, and otherwise have a great evening and a great week coming up Alrighty, bye now.